Now here in town, the Boston chapter of Alpha, the nation's largest and longest standing Latino association for, prof for professionals, is considered the leader in empowering Latino professionals at all levels. And on Thursday, February 11th, at the, Boston, at the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, Alpha's 13th Annual Executive Leadership Summit will bring together close to 400 professionals and executives that are passionate about understanding diversity and how it impacts the marketplace. Attendees will have the opportunity to network and make meaningful connections with professionals in their field and beyond. They have an exciting lineup of speakers and award recipients. To tell us more, we've invited three important and very cool members of Alpha Boston. Well, two of the three are cool. They are Anna Jimenez, Senior VP Program Management Ma of Management, Arvin Isabel, he is the somewhat cool guy, Project Manager for Alpha Boston, and Paula Garcia, VP of Marketing for the Boston Chapter, and I should say, Paula Garcia plus one. Oh, Alberto. Yes. News. <laughs> we have a scoop. Yes, yes. Alpha, uh, the Alpha Boston board is growing. And yes, the Alpha family of Boston is, is literally growing. growing. I have a little helper here helping me get all the marketing tasks done for Good the Good for you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, and actually, congratulations to all of you because you've been working hard. And this looks like it's going to be another amazing, amazing success. So take me through it. What can we expect? So you're going to have an amazing lineup of speakers. We have an awesome panel. Um, they're going to be talking about diversity and inclusion and how it really impacts the marketplace and how um, you know the marketplace really needs to start changing. There's so many different demographics now where they need to look at other um, let retention strategies, right, and really appreciate how the market's changing and what you know what they need to, to do to cope with those changes. Yeah, people, people I think, kind of uh, understand the why. I think they're struggling with the how, and this is going to help them with yes. the how as well. Arvin, you're the project manager for this. I mean, uh, when you close your eyes, what are you looking at? 400 folks networking, meeting other folks, a lot of cards going back and forth. So we're expecting about 400 people to, yeah. to come to this event, and um, the expectation is that we're going to be networking, meeting new professionals, uh, making new connections. Yeah, and it, it's always a great thing at at, uh, at Alpha events. I mean, you, you don't know who you're going to meet. You see a lot of folks that you expect to see and you want to see again, but you make a lot of new connections. Uh, Anna, you and I know each other, uh, but we've been around uh, at these meetings and have met people that we wanted to meet that we didn't have to meet before, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I think that this is a, an opportunity for people to really connect um, and really find a way to kind of to talk to other um, senior executives that are going to be there and folks from all over um, Boston area. So it's yeah. going to be a wonderful opportunity for a Latino professional. Now, I, I want to also give a little credit because, uh, you know, you have we have your, your alpha title, but you also ha uh, have a day job, right? <laughs> Let's give a little props to your, your company there. Oh, well, thank you. Um, so I work at Wellington Management. Um, I'm vice president of the Quality Assurance Department. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Arvin, you, you, you wear many hats during yes. the day as well. Like right now, I work, I'm working at Best Doctors. It's an insurance company that offers second opinions to patients. I'm a case manager. Excellent. Paola. Tell me a little about yourself. Uh, so I am marketing manager at a software company here in Boston called The Set, and I'm also the uh, marketing committee chair of NACOL, which is a nonprofit that yeah. supports Colombian children. Yes, it's a great organization as well. So that's good because we are a, a family and we see each other in, in so many different ways. And speaking of that, I think um, I love the platform that Alpha uses this platform to honor certain people in the community. And we have some award recipients that we are. Are we going to like let people know now? Is this the yes. scoop as well? Breaking news. Breaking news. <laughs> yes. All right. Who's one of the recipients? This is the John A. Sims Jr. He's the executive director of external relations of uh, Bentley College. He's the winner of the Life Lifetime Achievement Award. Award. Very nice. All right. Let's take a look at the next uh, recipient. Oh, our friend. Marcela Aldas Matos. Um, she is the vice president of diversity and inclusion of Mass Mutual uh, Financial Group. Very much deserved. Diversity, leadership, and service award to Marcela, very much well earned. And who is the third? That's Jose de la Rosa. Uh, he's uh, the founder of Guardian Healthcare. Yep, and they're in Jamaica Plain Jamaica. and in Lawrence. Uh, I remember when that company started, he's done very well, grassroots guy, well-deserved, great staff and so forth. So great selections, by the way. But how, how do you guys select them? Is there a committee? 
Yes, so there's, um, there was an election that happened in December, so it, basically we, we asked our community to nominate individuals who are deserving of, you know, who have stood out in the community, who, um, you know, have outstanding leadership and, you know, care about giving back, and so, you know, Arvin was part of the selection committee, and, you Great. know, we, we, we pick the best people, I think, uh, this time around. Excellent. And yeah. I, I think it's great. It's a great overall event. Okay, let's remind folks again, for people who want to go. Now, people who are watching can register still and, yes. and go on the yes. on the website. So it's obviously alphaboston.org. And it's it's a good it's a good four hours, right? A little bit less than four hour event. From Absolutely. five thirty to nine. Yeah, five thirty to nine. It'll be Thursday, February eleventh. I will sure bring my Valentine's Day gift to you, Anna. <laughs> you know, you and I always exchange gifts I, every uh, of year course. for the last thirty years. <laughs> you know, she's a JP girl yes, right across yes, the street. Definitely. Um, no, but. Now, Yep, I want to make sure I remind our viewers that uh, they do need to register um, as there will be no walk-ins accepted. Um, and you also have to be an Alpha Premium member right. um, as well, which is very important. Right. Well, kudos to Alpha Boston again. Of Thank course, uh, all of us are very proud of the organization here in the chapter. Your wonderful work. There's been a transition, seamless transition of leadership, and great job again. And uh, I'll see you guys on Thursday, February 11th. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Good Thank job. You so uh, boy or girl? It's a boy. Oh. We need a name, Alberto. What do you think? Uh, well, I, I don't, don't name Alberto. There's already three of us. There's already three of Alberto Messiahs. We don't have any more. Too many Albertos in the community. Arvin. Arvin. <laughs> All right. Well, Thank congratulations. You so much, I'll really. see you on the other Thank, Thank you. All right. That's it for this edition of Itipana. Uh, please don't forget to tune in later this morning at 1130 for um, Urban Update as we talk Iowa caucuses with a couple of local political enthusiasts. That's later on in Urban Update. For all of us here at Raviti Pana, have a great Sunday, everyone.